it's just what we do. Every day is different. There's not one day that's the same for me. We the uh, British Cyclocross Championships in the uh, Gravesend. So we can definitely help with that. That's great, yeah. I mean, you know, that just puts us above, you know, anything that we've worked with before. The, the partnership is it's, uh, it's the foundation for everything we're doing going forwards. You know, we see it's such an important part, how, how the team's values marry so well with our values. So I know Sherry is very, very keen to create a new business model, a new team structure, um, a new entire model, I guess, for the way that a team can operate within the sport, which for me, I think will make the sport more sustainable in the long term. And I think something that we can help with. When we did the uh, Tour Britain one day ahead, you know, eight days worth, I realised by about day three that actually your ability to think beyond riding the next day became um, sort of a bit, bit fuzzy. Um, but I kind of, you know, that, that gave me quite an insight actually into sort of some of the jobs that you've got to do mm. uh, and what your job is in terms of, you know, providing the direction and to some degree also paper trails and evidence um, given that you are in a regulated sport. Mm. Um, and it really did start to trigger in me about why some of our bits of kit might be able to help you work a bit better. So um, a lot of these documents, because you've got information changing on the move, um, what we can do is we've got some clever bits of kit that's going to allow you to print on the move using products which have their own batteries fundamentally which you can keep in the car yeah. uh, or indeed in the team hotel or in the mechanics truck which is going to mean you're going to be able to print this stuff on the fly which means everything is going to be up to date, relevant um, and on point for the moment the riders arrive either at the team hotel or indeed if there is um, uh, some sort of uh, doping check or something like that, you know you've got the latest version of the truth, not the sort of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the last digital, digital version, if you see what I mean, yeah. So we can definitely help with that. That's great, yeah. I mean, you know, that just puts us above, you know, the, anything that we've worked with before. Um, and just having that um, added bit of technology just uh, gives us the edge. Mm. Those are traditionally what the race organisers use. So that's your, um, that's obviously your start. That's okay. your sprint symbol, your mountains. There's your little knife okay. and fork, and then your finishing flag. Right. And the information that I'd use is exactly that. So 1.5 kilometres at 8.2 percent. Okay. Let me see if I can find those symbols. Because most long sleeves, yeah. you can't race them because they're too baggy. Yeah. Whereas this one. I would be happy to race it because it sits so tight on the sleeves. Showing that we were a North East based firm, a UK based firm based out of Teesside, that was something different. You know, we weren't coming from China, we weren't producing from Eastern Europe, we were producing performance based kit out of sustainable materials and that to us as soon as we started having that conversation and we started talking about our principles and then we started talking about the team principles it very it very quickly became apparent that we should be going ahead with this it's, it's, uh, it's the foundation for everything we're doing going forwards. You know, we see it's such an important part, how, how the team's values marry so well with our values. Uh, we think that, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to make fantastic cycling kit that just happens to be sustainable. You know, we could go out and preach to the converted already and we could sell to the 5-10% of people who care about sustainability. Um, but actually what we really need to do is go out to everyone who really doesn't have so much 
um, environmental awareness and say, look, green can be super high performance, super high quality. And so through working with a team, it gives us the real opportunity to be able to demonstrate that on the back of you know, some of the best professionals in the business. Screwdriver and spanner? Yeah, something like that. That's the play where <coughs> that can be a mountain, but then we have this incline here that can also mean... Oh no, I like the mountain. Okay, mountain. I like the mountain. That yeah. is a play knife and fork, yeah. actually, and that is a chin. Your finishing yeah. flag. But we can actually, if we find an image online, we can send that. Image, you can send that yeah. to me then. Yeah. You know, it's just finding an image that's just finding two pixels, you know. Oh, look how cute that more. is. Um, <laughs> I, I knew that we could output something like that. Mm. Um, and, and that's just trial and error. And yeah, yeah it and, is. and the really good thing about that particularly is the fact that that's the laminated label, yeah. which means there's no sellotape needed. Absolutely. That literally just goes straight on a stem. Boom. That's it, literally, and that's a job you don't have to do. Well done, all. guys. Yeah. Um, so do you think that will basically do the job for the stems? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> so we could probably then just need to now test colour combinations with these, don't we, to just um, check it with the riders. Yeah, we um, can, we can <coughs> have a try on the training camp. Yeah. This is a bit like a tour series today, it's that dry. But um, I was uh, sitting in seventh and uh, had an unfortunately uh, puncture uh, not close to the pit, so uh, bike swap. And I went, I think I went, some, my wife said I went down to about 25th, so yeah, it's a good workout. Why do you think you typically print on the overshares? I mean, um, in the car, I mean, things like typically run lists, um, yeah. massage rotors, yeah. which generally I pass down to the Swannies. Yeah. So if we could we put iPrint and scan on your iPad now? Yes, please. Because if we put it on now, yeah. theoretically, she should put a print straight to that, should she? Yes, I'll just take it off. Yeah, uh, yeah. so why don't, yeah. why don't we try it okay. to show you yeah. what you can do? Yeah. So this is sort of like what the sheet looks like. I tend to keep it in the, in the packet. I just want to make sure. I'm going to put it in the right way, hopefully. Right, yeah. okay. That's right. Look at that. It's still pretty quick. Boom. Wow, look at what that. What do we think? Look at that. So we're saying that that could be car mounted then? Yes. So yeah. that could be in the passenger position yeah. in the car. And if you had that requirement, uh, you could have paper in the glove box. Yeah. And if you send, I, I want this doing, that doing, the other yeah. doing, that could be done on a phone and a piece of paper just fed through and through the dashboard so at that so time. Yeah. So that's the way. You know, we, we have sponsored many sports over the years. We've been in <coughs> Formula One, we've been in Premier League football. Um, and so we're, we're not unfamiliar with fairly high level sports sponsorship. 
And what I would guess I was looking at here uh, in what we wanted to achieve in the UK is that we were looking to improve our brand recognition and recall with a certain demographic group, uh, primarily people that are specifying our product in large enterprises. And it was no surprise really that, that most of those people were often riding their bikes at a weekend. And so, um, you know, in this sort of crazy mixed up world that we're now in, you know, putting a billboard at the side of the road is no longer the way, you know, to effectively reach your target market. We have to do a number of different things to actually reach our market. So what we found was, was actually building our brand profile using cycling as a metaphor for our business really, really worked. And we've seen significant um, brand recall now for our brand in that demographic group in business which is providing us with the business opportunities that we need uh, to succeed. So sort of we're, we're pretty happy about that. But of course, from a general uh, point of view, then uh, I'm a keen cyclist myself. Of course, um, cycling is great for health. Cycling makes us a fitter nation. Um, it's all about health and well-being, mental health. And I think that, that that's a good, again, metaphor for who we are as a business. We're investors in people, a uh, platinum workplace. And uh, for me, Health, well-being across physical and mental health is a particularly key topic and cycling is a great contributor to that. So there's a kind of a, a double upside. It's great to be working with Sherry again. It's where my career started. I started with Merlin Racing Team when I was 16 years old. So yeah, it's an amazing privilege to be able to, to race at home. We're in quite a lucky place now. A few years ago there wasn't as many sustainable fabrics around. But now we, we haven't got that challenge at all. There's, there's, there's a lot of people trying to show us different fabrics and different technology that we can incorporate into the kits.